So I've been told that people get up especially early so that they don't miss the first segment of the show, which is all about investing your money and retiring on your own terms. And uh, Leslie McCormick of the Farwell Group is here this morning. So Leslie, let's not disappoint those people who woke up extra early so they don't miss your segment. Sounds good, Marilyn. Well, today I'd like to talk about, you know, if you think your estate done or estate plan is done, think again. Estate planning is not a set it and forget it process. Often people think that once their standard estate planning documents are done, they have their bases covered. However, life goes on, things change, sometimes even dramatically. And people often make the mistake of neglecting to revisit those earlier decisions. You may have a more complex mix of assets or more potential heirs. The people you named, they may have passed away or new people have been born or come into your life. Past relationships could have ended or been damaged and new relationships might not be covered. All of this should be taken into consideration because every aspect is more fluid than you might think. In other words, periodically ask yourself what the end result would be if your documents were to be executed today as they are written. If you aren't satisfied with the answer, make the appropriate changes right away. But estate planning also is not just about what happens after your life. What a lot of people don't realize is that estate planning is about more than just your financial legacy. It's also about planning for your life. One of the most important but often overlooked aspects of estate planning is actually protecting yourself as you age or in the event um, that your health declines. Do the right people know what your wishes for your care are? It would be wise to consider vulnerability planning in your estate plan. Vulnerability planning is the process of protecting yourself financially in your lifetime. So not only is property um, cared for and you're properly cared for, but also protected financially from people maybe trying to take advantage of you when you don't have the capacity or strength to stand up for yourself. And financially, there are things you can do to protect yourself. Another reason to revisit your estate plan is that you may have made some common mistakes. For example, your will may state that a particular heir should receive an asset, while your account documents name a different person as beneficiary. Something might be unclear, vague, or confusing. I recently heard a story of a woman who was left with just a fraction of the retirement assets she thought she would have when her husband passed away unexpectedly, all because beneficiary named on the account, her, was different than what an old will and marriage contract from over 25 years ago had stated. She expected one thing. Her husband had expected one thing, but the results were far from expected. Not only are you risking your own financial security and legacy, but you may also be opening the door for ugly family feuding and damaged relationships in your later years or after your death, if not revisiting those old documents and beneficiaries named on accounts. If you've done your estate planning in the past, it's likely time to revisit it with your financial professionals and your lawyer. Do a lifeboat drill. If something had happened yesterday, would the actual result be what you want it to be? If something had happened to your spouse, are you going to be okay financially? Have you considered your life, your care, and protections should you become financially vulnerable to those who may try to take advantage of you? It may be time to update your will and consider strategies to protect yourself during your lifetime and for your heirs. So how often do you think someone should do this lifeboat drill? I mean, we do a plan, some people wait 20 years, and you're talking to them, and they're thinking, well, you know, everything might be okay just the way it is. How often do you think we should do it, Leslie? That's a great question, Marilyn. 
Um, the best answer is if something has changed or a large number of years have gone by, a full lifeboat drill is really required. Um, but other than that, I'd say probably every five years or so. Okay, so if someone's sitting there thinking, well, I never heard about this lifeboat drill, but it makes sense to me and I'd like to do it, will you walk people through that at the Farwell Group? We will. And how do we reach you? You can call us at 416-863-7501. 416-863-7501. The Farwell Group, you can ask for Darren, you can ask for Leslie, but it's a team of experts that will walk you through the process. It won't cost you a thing. It is never too late to assess what you've done and to look at what you've done and do it properly and make sure you haven't made any mistakes. Uh, thank you, Leslie, for that really good information. And I like the idea of a lifeboat drill, the what ifs of life. Those are the surprises we don't need sometimes. Exactly. So now we're going to learn about our vaginal health with Dr. Faye Weisberg of the Fem Renew Clinic. And then Dr. Betty Rosendahl of Thornhill Naturopathic Clinic is going to give us advice on how to keep our body hydrated naturally. And there's lots more to come. And it's all from a woman's perspective right here with me, Marilyn Weston, and my wonderful team on Zoomer Radio. <laughs> 